I don't know if you want to go on about either of these, but they did have shakeups at the QB position, so I want to at least kind of hear what you think if it's an upgrade or downgrade. And that's both Allen Robinson and then T.Y. Hilton, who will be catching passes from Nick Foles and, and Philip Rivers, obviously, respectively. I, I, do, I just also want to put this on here to admit over the summer I kind of came at you for, for being too high on Allen Robinson, and I was definitely wrong on that one because he lit it up. He was much better than I expected, so I wanted to give you a shout-out for that one. I was way too down on Allen Robinson. The guy can still ball. Uh, what do you think, though, of Allen Robinson and T.Y. Hilton this year? I mean, obviously, they're two completely different players, but you targeting either of them? I'm sure you were just down on the Trubisky hype train. Exactly. Today, which obviously did not sell. Uh, yeah, but I'm backing on A-Rob. The guy just had the third most targets in the entire NFL last season, and he now, it's, it's like we said, you know, with Teddy over Kyle Allen, it's a quarterback upgrade. So mm-hmm. is this. The only guy's... A Rob has caught balls from in his college and NFL career have been <laughs> Matt McGloin, Christian Hackenberg, Blake Bortles, Chad Henney, Chase Daniel, and Mitch Trubisky. So, yes, Nick Foles is the best quarterback of our offense he's going to play with. And I would also add, I mean, this is good news for Anthony Miller because, look, Taylor yeah, Gabriel's true. gone. I mean, Anthony Miller's like the rising, like he's like, you know, a poor man's Calvin Ridley this year. He's been in a crowded offense. He's produced. He just hasn't had the consistent – uh, you know, week to week opportunity, but he had seven touchdowns playing through a bum shoulder as a rookie. Uh, you know, he was a PPR wide receiver eight in weeks 11 through 15 yeah. last year. And, you know, I know we're kind of, you can pick these certain game splits and kind of make your narrative. I get all that, but all I'm trying to say is the dude has played at a high level in the NFL for stretches. Yeah. Now he's going to get every chance to be that wide receiver too. So I'm in on Chicago. I'm less than on T.Y. Hilton just because we have. Now, 36 games of him without Andrew Luck. He scored 11.6 points per reception in those games. Uh, With Mm -hmm. Andrew Luck, he's all up at 15.5. So, look, T.Y. is the man, but he's aging. I think we'd agree. Like, he's never exactly been a guy that's just – I mean, it's – I don't. I don't know how well, how gracefully he's going to age necessarily. Like yeah. he's, run away, he's used to running away from dudes. He's never been overly physical, and now he's starting to get banged up after that really wasn't an issue for the first part of his career. I mean, it's just a lot of questions. He's not egregiously overpriced. He's kind of going as like a mid mid range wide receiver twenty. So maybe he can still get it done. They they only add, I mean only adding Pittman to that uh, kind of wide receiver uh, carousel they got going on there. Hilton should be the number one again in Indy. So, like, for that, I think uh, he has the potential. But I don't know, man. Like, it's just yeah. expecting Rivers to go there and kind of be that same offense. I'm, I'm buying a Rob way over Hilton, that's for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. I, I'm hoping to redeem myself and get some more A Rob, especially about some of what you were just citing there. I'm glad you threw out Anthony Miller because I completely forgot to include him on this list. And he's absolutely a riser with the best quarterback he's ever going to play with as well here. I, Hilton, I, I'm with you too. I, 43% bust rate, even with Andrew Luck a couple seasons ago there. So it was still that boomer bust nature. Yeah. He was the wide receiver 14, 17.1 points per game with Luck. But that's also Andrew Luck, and that's a much better deep ball thrower than what Phillip Rivers is at this stage of his career. I mean, that ball was fluttering last year. I get that they just said Nick Sirianni, we're going to run through him. He's still the focal point of our passing attack. And I was pretty impressed with how Reich kind of forced him to, to use a little bit more of his yards after the catch ability with a lot more quick hitters. I, I, I'm with you, though. This is the type of game that could just it does not age well. And suddenly, if he's not taking those slants 80 yards to the house, you're not getting those big booms anymore because he's not outrunning the defense and Hilton just loses everything that makes him so special so when that cliff hits it's going to be an ugly one it could be this year uh, it might be a year in, in advance but I'd rather at least take the shot on these young fresh bucks that we've already talked about the DKs the McLaurins like give me all that all day uh, even with a QB upgrade for Hilton I'm not I'm not in on him either so I like that What is up, you fantasy wolf? Thanks so much for tuning in. If you haven't already, share your thoughts in the comments, check out some more videos, and join the newest wolf pack by subscribing below.